Good morning, dun, dun, dun. good morning, love. It's our favorite love song. Welcome to the new vlog. <laughs> I'm always singing. Um, hello, good friends, good people. Can I do this so that y'all can see me and my glistening skin? Um. Welcome to the new vlog. Right now, we're on our way down to the grocery store. Well, first I have to go to Target to pick up a new um, charger because my phone has been acting like it doesn't want to charge. Um, and what you blowing your horn at me for? I wasn't gonna hit you. Um, the traditional way, um, but it will charge wirelessly. Um, so I just wanted to make sure that I had a wireless charger so that we don't have no issues um, until I bite the bullet and order my new phone. Um, so yeah, that's I'm doing that first. And then I do want to stop at Whole Foods um, because my best friend had this juice from there that was like, cabbage ginger parsley lemon pineapple something or another um and it was really tasty oh i put a whole bunch of lemon in there that's tart but like i was telling y'all before i am trying to start my day with water and chlorophyll so i haven't eaten anything i haven't drank anything besides water and this um i am hungry um so there's that and yeah i'm gonna drink my water and i'll probably drink one of those juices while i am out and about the store um, because I'm trying to get as many greens in me as I can and it's um it's it's been a challenge um I think what I'm gonna make to eat I might throw some potatoes in the air fryer and make me a piece of salmon and maybe like a few hard boiled eggs um, for my breakfast, which will be more like lunch by the time I get to it, but it's fine. Or I might scramble some eggs. Excuse me. So yeah, I don't know, I'll show y'all whatever I do decide to make. But I do want some salmon. Um, and I'm trying to, I think my, um, period is coming. Um, that's been a mess since I've gotten off of the birth control. Y'all know I was really sick, um, there for a bit. We had a little bit of a scare, um, which is a lot of the reason why I'm changing my diet and I'm going to be going back to the gym and doing that whole bit um for my health and I mean who don't like a snatch choice um but Just in general, 
but especially during that time because y'all I'll be going through it through it um so and I know I did some reading and I know that chlorophyll is supposed to help with that I know getting more greens in my diet is supposed to help with that um so I want to bit longer <laughs> so um I need to I need to do the things I need to do the work and it's a bit uncomfortable like unlearning things is uncomfortable especially when it comes to your diet especially when you've had a typical relationship with food um I've always been the one deemed as fat <laughs> I've always been the one I've, I've always been the bigger friend um I've always had the mindset that I had to change my body in some way, shape, or form because I wasn't little enough and then I'm tall and all of this type of thing, right? And I think a lot of the women in my life have struggled with the same thing um, and they have kind of projected that on me. I think they thought that they were trying to protect me um, when in all actuality they just made me feel the same way that they felt that I was always trying to change myself to fit what I was supposed to look like opposed to doing the things just because you know to be healthy right so I've always struggled with going to the gym consistently and eating healthy and doing all of those things because um I think they weren't really it wasn't really my original idea is one of them um, and I always felt like I was deep down, I think I knew I was doing it to appease other people and to appease how they felt I should look or that sort of thing. Um, whereas now, it's because I want to feel good. And because my taste for things is changing. Like, I mean, I'm always going to love me a chicken nugget from down to the Wendy's and the McDonald's or the Chick-fil-A or whatever, right? But more often than not, like, I don't want that, you know? Like, I'll settle for it because maybe I don't feel like cooking or something like that, but on the grander scheme of things, most of the time, I'm like, I don't want that. Like, I don't want Popeyes. I don't want, you know, whatever. Like, I want a real meal. I want to be cooking more and all of that kind of thing. Speaking of which, I kind of do want some um, chip tartar. I could go for some of that. I could go for some of that. See, but that's because I've been wanting steak and I don't feel like making it myself. But it's kind of early. I don't know that I'm going to be able to get that. 
Good morning. I am. <coughs> Why, when I want to record, you want to start yelling? Do you want more cookies? You can have more. All you have to do is ask. I guess that is him asking. I'm sorry. You just were quiet until I started recording, booby. Here, put them in your. They're in your bowl. Get your stuff. Go ahead. such a baby he's such a baby i love him though um i'm starting my greens l-glutamine mix um it's supposed to help with bloating and um all of that kind of stuff so i'm starting the day with this on an empty stomach Yeah, on an empty stomach because I did order some, I did order lunch already. It's not quite lunch yet, but by the time it gets here, it'll be lunch time. And what did I order? A pastrami sandwich for mom and I to split and some fries and some potato latkes. I think that's how you pronounce it. If I'm pronouncing it wrong, feel free to correct me. Um, which one is this? Detox and digest. Is this the one that I want? No, I want the one that has flavor so that I can see what this is gonna be like. So the grillies on TikTok use the bloom greens. The bloom greens are in the mail somewhere. So I stopped and got these, the Amazing Grass, because I use other Amazing Grass products. And um, I like them. They're not terrible. Um, so we're going to do a scoop of greens. What it tastes like. This smells green. And a scoop of L glutamine. I don't know what this accent is. I don't know. <laughs> And we are going to take a frother, dip that in there, mix that baby up. Because the last thing that I need is for it to be lumpy because I'd have a seat. I wouldn't be able to drink it. Okay, I think it's mixed up good enough. Um, I need some ice. Oops. I'm 
forget to drink it, y'all. Oh, that's nasty. I'm gonna have to chug that. Mm -mm. Okay. They said lemon lime. Not backwash. Maybe I could put lemon in it. Okay, okay, okay. That's disgusting. Mm -mm, that was not nice. That wasn't nice at all. It's nasty. Mm, it's nasty. I might have to put that back. Put that in a... Oh, gonna it's nasty. Whew. What, baby? I might have to put this in a smoothie or something. That is disgusting. The lemon is not helping. I, I don't, send, send help. It's an emergency, send help. Oh God. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put that in smoothies because in a smoothie I wouldn't be able to taste it, but I'd get the, I'd get what I need. Or I'm gonna have to do like a little shot every morning because that's disgusting. There is nothing I hate more than when people, I'm, I couldn't record it fast enough, but when people stop in the motherfucking roundabout. Never mind. I take all of that loud talking back because it was because of some geese. I don't like them. I don't like them either. I don't like them either. I've been on a hunt for strawberries, and I'm gonna go home and make a salad and add some barbecue. I mean, some buffalo chicken to it. Hello. I have not been really recording. Um. because this weekend was busy but it wasn't like busy I could take y'all along with me busy um it was busy like I needed my time <laughs> so um yeah but I had a really good weekend um a really good weekend so to get breakfast i started reading daughter of the moon goddess i was supposed to read this months ago with the patreon book club which i am working on revamping that um and coming up with like certain content just for that page um because i just need to do better um come on y'all i gotta make it to to the to the devil chicken before Nine thirty, so that I can get my dang breakfast. I just need to run in here right fast. Um, we don't have no cups, like plastic cups. Okay, somebody's peepaw in a nineteen eighty four Buick right now. Come on, dang it. Um, but yeah, I just need some cups real quick. Um, I get to go to the gym later. Um, I will try to bully Alan into recording me working out. <laughs> Make any promises. I'll be back. I want y'all to know that mom and I had a very heated conversation about whether something or not was was orange, and I was right. Yeah, he looks good in the top now. You think so? Mm -hmm. It don't. It's not too big. I don't mm -mm. look foolish. No, it's okay. Cute. I just didn't want to like hurt myself in the gym, like yeah. get caught on something. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I just wanted y'all to know. 
that we had a very heated conversation. Mm. Like, had to call in reinforcements. And she was all confident, like, call Adela. She's the queen of color, call her. And who was on my side? Adela was. You got anything to say to the people? To her and Adela. I said what I said. I think the conversation was really about how my mom likes to categorize things in her mind. Which is not a bad thing. But just because you categorize something doesn't mean that it is not um, what it is. I am very tired of these pink behind nails. Ready to go. I get my nails done on Wednesday. What would you like to eat for dinner? We're sitting in traffic, so I thought I would record. And y'all haven't seen her in the vlog in a while, so. English. Yep. from the salad okay like I need something in conjunction okay salad and that salad I made the other night was good though mm-hmm. with the oranges why did I come oh cuz I didn't want to turn left there that's why I came this way yeah I was wondering why you did this too cuz I don't like turning left and I had already went around the all around the mulberry bush Can I not turn here? This is what I like to call. No, just, no people. Can't. Oh, okay. I was about to say this is what I like to call ghetto. Y'all, I ain't seen my trainer in like three months. At least that's what it feel like. And I feel like he gonna try and kill me in this gym today. Are they removing the sign? I didn't know that was possible, but I guess anything is possible. Impossible for uh possible. Help me out here. What's what's the next word? For a some 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 to become a golden carriage. Impossible. Oh, I don't know. Making a face. I don't know them either.
I'm probably not gonna be able to walk tomorrow. <sighs> he tried to kill me, but that was the first, like a first day back. Good workout. All gonna be worth it in the end. It's all gonna be worth it in the end. <sighs> My new cardio is um the bike. So at some point tomorrow, I'll probably come back and get on the bike and um practice. What we did today, we did sprints, and that shit was hard as fuck. So, I'll probably come and do that tomorrow for 30 minutes. And probably try to replicate the workout that we did today. But he tried to, um, he tried to, he tried to take me out. Hey y'all, um, so I dropped mom off to the airport um, and there's this restaurant over here in Maplewood that I absolutely love that I haven't been able to go to. I just haven't, you know, been around, like I don't work over here anymore. Um, so I just real adamant about I want HLS, I want HLS, I want HLS, right? So um, I dropped mommy off and I was, um, I was, um, killing some time. So I ran to Whole Foods real quick, um, to grab something to make for dinner. Um, I did, um, I grabbed some sausage and some pasta sauce, um, cause I was craving pasta. So I did that and I was just killing time, right? <laughs> My flight is on Friday. I was I've been a little anxious because um, mom told me that Granny is not doing good, and um, you know I'm just hoping she makes it until Friday um, for when I get there so that I can see her. Um, so I, you know, ever since I dropped mommy off, like I just been feeling a little anxious or whatever. But I was like, I'm gonna kill some time and I'm gonna wait because they open at 11, whatever call place my order I go find a park like almost right up front and I get out of the car and I look down and oh this tastes like nostalgia um I look down and I see somebody's wallet and it's like one of those wallets with the little money clip on it so i can see the person's money and then i flip it over and i see their id and all their cards and stuff so when i go in the restaurant i said hey i found this outside i said and um you know somebody lost their wallet and when the woman looked and saw that the money was still there she was like I'm so glad you found it like she was like nobody has been in here but like I'm so glad you found it because anybody else would have took the money so it kind of caught the attention of the um the cook in the back um and there was like management or whatever and you know they came to see what was going on and to see the name to see if it was somebody that they recognized or whatever and 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 the guy was like the guy in the back was like um god is gonna bless you like you made my day he was like so many other people would have did wrong and would have took that money and i said it don't it <laughs> like it made me feel good to be seen but it also i'm just like it don't take much to be a good person like it don't take much to do the right thing but he just kept saying he was like god bless you like have a blessed day like you don't even understand how blessed like how that's gonna come back tenfold for you and, and you know what <laughs> i needed to hear that i spent so much time feeling unseen i needed i needed to 
I needed to hear that I am seen and that is a known fact that I am a good person and that my intentions are pure. I needed to hear that. I'm probably going to go cry now, y'all. I really hope that God comes back, you know, and, and gets his wallet because I'm like, it's the holiday this week. He could be um, traveling and now he don't have his ID or nothing. I don't know how much money was there, but, you know, that could have been his last, you know? And he got to figure out how to feed his babies or himself or, you know, whatever. I just, my mom ain't raised no thief. She raised a good one. But it just was, you know, it was heartwarming. It was very, very heartwarming. So I'm glad I went to HLS. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm glad I went to HLS. I'm, that that urge to go there was beyond just the food. I needed to be in that place at that time. And it smelled bad good as hell. If y'all, I know there are a few of you that are from Jersey and like are in this area. Um, if y'all have never been to HLS, they have they have like healthy alternatives you know to food and it seems like now i know before i don't think they've always had um like vegetarian options i think they have but like when i was looking at the menu the menu was a little bit different from what i remember when we used to come here all the time They're really good. I got a chicken cheesesteak wrap. Y'all know I'm not really big on condiments, so I didn't get the no sauce. Um, but I did have them add kale to it because I haven't had my greens for the day yet. Um, I didn't do my my chlorophyll or nothing um, just yet. So I um, asked them to add some sauteed kale to my chicken cheesesteak wrap. And I'm going to go home and give the boy one of his toys. And I'm going to relax. I'm going to get my eyebrows done later. Um, my best friend goes to get this like wax and tint service. And um, I want to try it. Because like I like the shape of my eyebrows already. But um, I like them better when they're filled in. <laughs> so if I can like get that look all the time that would be nice. Um, so I'm going to go try that out and see if I like it. Plus mom wanted to go and do a service like that. Um, so if, um, if I like it and she likes how it looks, I'll, um, book an appointment for her and we can go and, and get that done. And then I get my nails done tomorrow. So... this bag for a long time and I finally treated myself and got it um and I want another one that one is the 
I'll talk about it more later. That one is the medium sized one, which honestly, this is the perfect size. It is the perfect size. I feel like I'll probably will get the small one just like as a cutesy, you know, like, oh, we going somewhere and I just need like a little something cute. I probably will get one for that purpose. But this is the perfect, excuse me, everyday throw your iPad, your book, your wallet, a bottle of water in there, and your little cosmetic bag and going about your business type of bag. Um, and over the weekend, um, like I had like a, I used it sort of as an overnight bag. I didn't have like a bunch of clothes in there, but like through my toothbrush, toothpaste, some clean drawers and some toiletries in there with my wallet and like regular everyday stuff and like it was fine it wasn't you know so I highly recommend um especially if you are in the market for a luxury bag but you don't have like Louis Vuitton Chanel luxury money right where you want to feel like one of the girls baby that's not a lane um but you don't want to like completely break the bank um i feel like this is the perfect bag the perfect bag i want um the other colors yeah they have like a tan one that i want they also have one that's like stone um that's like in the gray family i like that one too for this one because 
because I got something on the inside of my arm. I don't know. We'll see. But either way, I'm excited. But that'll probably be my next, like, real big purchase. So. I'm going to go have my feelings after I eat. Or while I eat, I should say. I'm tired of feeling like I'm in a constant state of grief and mourning. It sucks. Really bad. It sucks. But life is about a lot of endings and new beginnings. And I know that I'm I'm stepping into newness in, in all areas of my life. Um, I'm just tired of grieving. I'm tired of seeing my mama sad. And seeing my family hurt. But, yeah. Whatever kind of birds those are. Those are some big ass birds up there, y'all. Hi, friends. I got my brows done. I think they look so cute. Um, I gotta keep them dry for 24 hours. So... But I think they came out so good. Um, I'm about to run to Target real quick. And, um, yeah, run to Target real quick. And then I'm going to go home and throw together some dinner and hang out with my dog I'm trying to think do I really want pasta or do I just want to go pick up some lamb I need to eat again like right now um so I think I might go pick up some lamb and then um oh um have pasta for later on in the night so yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm with my family. Um, we is packed in this car like some sardines. Mercy. I'm glad we like each other. We even love each no, other. No, no, at this point, we got to. No, it ain't no choice. It's a got to. Um, we got to be family. I took a shower. <laughs> Me too. I, I, it was I, I promise day. I took one yesterday. Oh, watch today. <laughs> even put on deodorant. Mommy, you got on beautiful. Yeah, she sure I was do. supposed to put on deodorant. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> too soon. Too soon, right? <laughs> you gotta at least get it one drink so you have an excuse to be talking to me like that. I you. You know my boo boo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just happy to be with my family. That is all. Okay, I did not record any of my traveling. Um but it was amazing. Now I'm at um, Pilates, but I was a little concerned because I came and it's a house, but it just wasn't clear that you gotta come through the back. So I rang the doorbell. I'm like, I don't wanna ring the people doorbell and be like, what the fuck am I in the right spot? But I am in the right place, I'm safe. I had called Indy like, I got anxiety, girl. <laughs> Like that Hello. Hi. Like no, I don't. They can see you. Okay. Uh -huh, they can see me. Um, I just ain't been recording this week. I didn't record any of my travel. I didn't record when I got my nails done. That's because I had an attitude. But we'll talk about that later. Um, I just have barely recorded anything. But mom, mom got mail. I didn't get no mail. Um, I told y'all I went to Pilates. Um, that reforming machine walked me like a dog but i'm gonna go back um i think what i'm gonna do is i see my trainer usually well right now because i got sessions out the woods uh, um i've been seeing him twice a week um so i think i'm gonna do twice a week with him and then like pilates twice a week too and that'll be my four days of workout. But anyway, mommy got this thing. It's called the Love Lux. 
Jesus. It's my stomach. Look, I don't know. I don't think I would have another. Oh, wow. I have to do the giveaway anyway, so I'm good. Go ahead. Oh, who else is here? I'm tired. Um, it is a lovely collaboration with Lit Brooklyn and Organic Bath Co. Wait, I guess this is one. Okay, this limited edition, huh? Huh? Is this limited edition? <laughs> Why we need to wear another one? Uh huh. <laughs> Go ahead and um figure that out because this smells delicious. Or is this like a regular scent on there? Who who is these people? My God, today. This smells so good. This says vanilla citrus. I don't even usually like. Oh, I'm supposed to be showing y'all this stuff and I'm not. You want to smell it? So that's the body oil. This is a body butter. Okay, now this smells different. It don't smell bad, but that smells really good. So oh, maybe yeah. I'm not smelling the oil in here and I'm smelling the box. Okay, I was smelling the box. That smells good though. Okay, I said this to me instead of I'm saying smelling it. the box. Okay, I wanna smell like I want to smell like the box. <laughs> Which I'm assuming is this candle that smells like this. But this is also vanilla citrus. Okay. Mm hmm. Um, put, how do we put meat in the candle? Oh, yeah, that's what we smell. That's exactly what I smell. It don't smell the same in the butter. Right. It does not smell the same in the butter. The, the way the candle is smelling it is Okay. Is um, who do I have to call? Ghostbusters? Love because, <laughs> look, I'm about to go online and be like, baby, um. <laughs> because this, this smell like, these, this smell like cookies. It's almost lemonade season. Y'all know some Girl Scouts that sell lemonades? Let me know, cause I'll be down to the place to to buy. But yeah, we need um, cause like, what are we gonna do with this little old baby thing at all? What was this for? I use that today. I've been wearing the the Fenty perfume. Have you smelt me? I was wondering why that was on the bed. Mm hmm It smells good. It's not, um... I like muskier scents. Mm -hmm. The patchouli, the... You know, the stuff that they usually market to men. <laughs> mm -hmm. Those are the kind of scents that I like. But I do like them to be, like, subtle and dainty. So, like, add your vanilla to it. Add mm -hmm. your citrus... Add your floral to it to make it you know, dainty, but those are the scents that I usually like. I really like my nails. They have pretty good. Too bad. I need to find a new nail set. I think this is the one I ordered for Kim. Stacy's least. Mm -hmm. I sent it to me instead of her. Okay. I'm going to find out when we're in that box and take it back to the post -entry. So, where you saw this on that was, um... Oh, you know whose who's company it is? Is that, is that her picture on the back? Papa, who this woman? I bet her picture in this is what you're saying. Let me see. I mean, it's a side profile. Oh, it is her. That's Izzy. It's not Izzy. Wasn't Yeah, Denny Duquette and... That's Izzy. This sure is Isabel. Yeah. What's her name in real life? Catherine something. Heigl? Yes. Hmm. Ain't that something? Well, mama got the boy 
Lu Fu, y'all know he got all kind of. You know he getting old. I don't want to accept that, but he is getting old, and it shows in the way that his body is functioning. He um, skin bother him, nose all crusty. Okay, cool. Um, she's talking about my uncle Kenny, not the boy Kenny. Um, yeah, he just skin all crusty. Like he just be he be going through it. Um stomach upset all of that so we're gonna try how many cups he need four and two thirds per day it was if he likes it i order it it was it was a little bit on the um pricey side okay so i didn't want to get a big bag and he'd be he'd be his like, fish and, and swatting it um did you say the food was delivered they said it's approaching, so they must be coming. Okay. I'm going to put some in my hand. Ew. It looked like. Yeah, because it's, it's actual. Um. Don't let it go.